What's up, everybody? Today is Sunday, November 1st. Hope you had a great Halloween. I know I did. My family had a great time. Nice weather in Chicago. And we had some special guests here on Halloween. We had the Lawn Tools here recording for season two of LT Turf. If you haven't checked out their channel yet, go ahead and check them out. Really excited for that to come out. So I'm outside today. It's really cold today. It's super windy. And with these big pine trees in our backyard, I guess they're spruce trees, but they drop needles everywhere. So when I came out here today, everything looked like this. It's totally caked in needles everywhere. So I've got to take my rotary mower today. I can't just let that stuff sit there. It's gonna, well, it probably won't do a whole lot if I leave it for a couple days, but that's not the way I roll. I want that off my lawn now. So I'm gonna suck those things up with my rotary mower, just like I'm vacuuming the carpet. done with the basic vacuuming of the backyard using the rotary mower to suck up all those needles I feel like I can't even move my face and my lips because it's so cold right now it's supposed to be like 65 this week so I'm looking forward to possibly getting out here and using the greens mower again and shorts and a t-shirt but let's take a look at what I got off of the lawn today I can guarantee you pretty much everything is gonna be pine needles so this is what I have to deal with look at that tire half catcher full of pine needles unbelievable so yeah, this is the stuff that was just sitting on my grass after one day. So today I'm gonna take the real mower, possibly the last real mow of the season, and I'm gonna cut the backyard at one half of an inch, my Kentucky bluegrass perennial rye. I'm gonna take it down to one half inch. And again, some of you are gonna be like, why would you do that? That's stupid, you're gonna mess your lawn up, but I'm going for it today. And man, for November, the grass is looking so green right now. So before I mow today, I need to take the height of cut down a little bit. And the way you do that on these Greensmaster mowers is there's a couple bolts on the side that you need to loosen. So loosen up those bolts. And then on the top right here, you just adjust this down a little bit. I got it set to five eighths of an inch right now. So taking it to half inch isn't a huge difference, but you can tell a little bit of a difference in the grass when you mow at a half inch, it's a little bit shorter, it's a little bit more crisp and clean, and that's what I'm looking for today. So I'm gonna adjust this thing. All right, so these are loosened up now. So basically what that does is it's gonna loosen this unit up to where I can adjust this. I'll move it up just a little bit. I'll measure and make sure it's even on both sides. That way I'm getting a nice true cut. We're good to go.
most enjoyable mow of my life. I want to take a look at the grass right now, give it a little measure, see what we're measuring at here. Oh yeah, we're right at about a half inch. There's some longer blades every now and then, they're probably up at about a quarter of an inch just because they get rolled over. Sometimes they'll get cut perfectly at one half inch. But when I was a kid and I envisioned having a lawn someday, this is what I envisioned. It's like a thick green carpet, it's so much fun. If you want to do this, you can make this happen. I'm no different than anybody else. I spent the time, I did the fertilizing, I slowly took it down from about a four inch lawn, down to three, down to two gradually, down to one inch, and now down to about a half inch. And again, if you want to do that, you can make it happen too. Set some goals for yourself, slowly but surely, get after it, learn along the way, listen to the people that know more than you do. It's what it's all about, it's so much fun. I love this. This is what dreams are made of for me. Am I a nerd for that? Yes, definitely I am. I get that. Not everybody loves this, but I do. This is great. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.